guys, we're here back in my 95 Camaro. Look down to the old system. It's got uh, two Kicker CVRs, two Sony, 1,000 lamps. It's pretty good, but we want a little bit something better. So, I'm going to give you a drive to the drive, let you hear the system that's in it, and then we'll go and uh, start ripping this shit out. Get ready for some updates, because this is 2014 system rebuilt. What's up guys? I'm here in the Camaro, going to give you guys a uh, test while we're up at, getting up to road speed, so yeah, in the old Camaro, uh, let you guys hear it, do some sight for us, uh, yeah, it hits pretty good, possibly. <laughs> She said she wanna kick it, see my Facebook status She said she would, I'm listening She said that she a diamond She shine while she glisten She said that I'm a star Trying to reach me is a mission All I gotta do is I seen her at the It don't sound too bad, but I want a little bit more, so yeah. We'll get you back with some more updates. Well, I got the box out, and it's kind of getting brutally destroyed by that, but we're going to get a custom fit one, because this one's literally a square box that I just got managed to wedge in the hole, so yeah, it's worn the fuck out. Junk worn out. Big crack down the center of it. But I mainly got all the power off. Cut back here because it's about uh, blue top off my battery. Best free battery I got. <laughs> Came with another car and that's all I got left of that other car. So good battery though. Good battery. Handles the setup well. It's a marine, but it's a deep cycle. So it works well for this. As you can see, MBX Flex all the way back here. The two, this 12 gauge, for my that I had to go into the subs. Uh, got some cheap wire in there too. This is all, a lot of this wire's coming out. And I'm going with all good NVX. Uh, all my wires don't match. Uh, right now it's not. It's like this foreground here. That's pinched. I got, in my, I got my power wire out of there so it don't get pinched, but... Uh, Got a splice in it because it wasn't long enough. This amp is going to be relocated when I get all my MBX amps. I got them. They're in my house, but I'm going to put them all up here, I think. All up here. This is my setup. It looked pretty good, but it sounded pretty good too, but we're going to go for a little bit more. So, yeah. Stay for the updates. This is what a couple hours have got me to. Pretty much a entirely cleaned out car of stereo system. Here's all my amps, sub box, my subs are in it, my door panels, my rear quarter or my rear panels, not my rear quarter panels, but all rear interior panels, my door speakers. Still working on getting some of the stragglers, all those stragglers. All that shit back in there. Cut the door panels off. Can leave some her in the tubes so I can pull my new through. Some. Uh... Yeah, when I did this, I didn't have enough wire to matched, so I ended up using some different speaker wire. Yeah, this shit. I don't know where I got this. This shit's garbage. Uh, we're gonna fix this up right. My RCAs. I was running all those amps off one remote wire, which I'm not going to do the next time. My automator gauges, which are up there, all nicely twined up, which I'll hide that back up under there. I don't know, here, sorry you guys see my hand, but I don't know if there's supposed to be a panel that sets up here. I don't think there is, but as you guys can tell, 
I just need to get the RCAs out and I'll be good. I got the radio already out, of course. I think I got that sold. Keeping the base knob in here because no need to unhook it. As you can see, I left, of course, a little bit here so I can pull through. This is Scotch speaker wire, some copper clad. Uh, I don't know. I thought about running a, another one ot through for ground to the back. I don't think I'm gonna. That should be fine. I'll have to relocate. My ground is, goes down the ground. It's the body of the car underneath. Some sheet, thin sheet metal. I'm thinking about getting some more of this and then turning this around and running it up to this. Running around up to here because that's a good ground. Uh, this is my second hot type of battery, of course. There's my one hot that runs up in the battery, which, of course, is a fused link right there. Got a distribution box for my ground, which will ground directly to the battery for the best grounding. Uh, got all my amps off, of course. My door channel amp, which I had to cut this. Didn't really want to, but I had to cut that to get my door channel amplifier to fit. Which, sorry about that. Get a fit, but it does, so that's always good. Might clean some of this wire up because I don't have a carpet that goes back here anymore. I'm gonna get a box that's made to fit back here. I'm gonna sound it in a lot of this with NVX sound editor too, and some of the side panels, and of course the doors, and possibly some of the floors, and probably underneath that amp rack, and then down by the seat. Even though I don't think I have to do the seat because there's plenty of stuff sound editing in the seat already. I might do the floor pans by your feet. I've noticed that I've got some rust on the floor because my T-tops leak and I had water in it last winter when it sat outside for a little bit. So, yeah. I'm definitely going to have to pull the carpet up. I'm thinking I might get some new. I don't know yet. This carpet's not too bad because there's some stains in it. So, yeah. Uh, might replace it. I'm gonna fix some of the rust that's under just surface. I'll grind her down and then put some POR15 on it. I'll save it. Uh, thought about taking these off and repainting, cleaning this up, and reshooting these black, these washers and stuff. But I ain't gonna do that because it'll screw my door alignment all up. Yeah, they shut great as it is. I thought about hitting this with some white, but I don't know. Just some stuff needs. Just it just needs a little stuff. My one off again. Needs to be a little strapped down a little bit better than that. I don't know if I'm gonna run it. I want to run it kind of through the center. I'm gonna run all my RCAs through the center. I'm thinking I'm gonna run my door speakers down the center. So I don't want it anywhere near my power. I'm gonna run my one remote wire back to a relay to power on all my uh, amps. Uh, NVX makes a relay, which is built in timer and all that stuff in it for it. I might try that out, see how that is, or I'll just use a regular 30 amp relay. Uh, yeah, so this is just the 12 volt to turn my LEDs on. That's on the switch. I might run it to the back and, of course, put it on a breaker too, or not a breaker, but a relay, and get some more LEDs. I don't think I'd have to because this is pretty much adequate. This has got a 10 amp uh, relay on it. I have LEDs underneath the floorboards there. You guys probably can't see them anyways because they're kind of hidden. But they're on a dimmer. It's in my center console. So, yeah. The little LED dash lights and stuff. So, yeah. Uh, that's another update. I'll get this video uploaded, edited, and uploaded. It's probably be an well, update for a while because I ain't got a lot of stuff that I need to get. So, I'm going to get a lot of stuff I need. Yeah, so, yeah. Looking pretty bare. See you in the next vid.